You should leave the decorations to someone else. No, I actually made these as a surprise. It goes without saying that Encanto became an instant classic as soon as it came out in theaters and on Disney+. It features all the makings of a great movie, bright and immersive animation, an engaging plot, and an iconic soundtrack. The movie is so captivating that you can watch it in one sitting and find yourself watching it over and over again just to watch those memorable moments one more time. Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Today, we're going over the best moments in Disney's Encanto. Stick around to the end to find out if your favorite moment made our list. You have a cloud! I know, mama, but now I can't find Antonio! What do you want from me? Let's start with Antonio's gifting ceremony. Antonio is the youngest Madrigal, and one of the earlier scenes of the movie covers the ceremony where he finally receives his gift from Casita. Before the ceremony, he's visibly nervous to the point that Mirabel even finds him hiding under his bed, terrified of what his gift would turn out to be. And Mirabel gives him a pep talk until his spirits become visibly lifted. What's especially adorable about this scene was how Antonio told Mirabel, I need you, because he wanted her to accompany him in his ceremony. Antonio stands near a magic golden door with his name on it, opens it, and waits for his gift. Then a miracle happens and we can see how a chatty, brightly colored toucan suddenly lands on his arm. Then we see how a huge herd of various wild animals stand near him, and this explains to the viewers that his gift is the ability to talk to animals. But we should also pay attention to Mirabel and the way the flashbacks of her own gifting ceremony gave her the feeling of exile in her family. This scene definitely gives the viewer an understanding of the emotional gravity of the story. I'm in! Sorry, sorry, sorry. You see, you're, you're, you're missing the point. The fate of the family, it, it's not up to her. It's up to you. Bruno is the Madrigal family member who was exiled years ago for his gift. His gift is to see the future, and precisely because Bruno tried to warn many people against bad things that could happen to them, and they really did happen, Bruno was exiled. And from that moment, no one talked about Bruno. Even saying his name is apparently forbidden. He is the most mysterious figure in the movie, and almost till the very end, we don't understand why everyone doesn't want to even say his name. The movie even has an entire scene dedicated to Bruno and the song we Don't Talk About Bruno is a Hot 100 hit nearing a whole new world levels of iconic. Peppa and Felix sing about their ill-fated wedding day and how Bruno's prophecy led to a torrential downpour. Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin, you telling the story or am I? Peppa recalls. Bruno says it looks like rain, in doing so he floods my brain, married in a hurricane. In this scene, many other characters, including Dolores, Camilo, and Abuela, sing about the things that happened to them because of Bruno. Bruno live in fear of Bruno stuttering or stumbling, shares Dolores. I can always hear him sort of muttering and mumbling. Written in a cha-cha style, We Don't Talk About Bruno hooks you and doesn't let you go. Ah, you wish you could have seen more, so see more. Have another vision. Oh. The next scene is really touching as it's the moment when Mirabel meets Bruno. After the dinner, Mirabel follows a group of rats behind a painting and chases them into the casita's walls. It was such a surprise for her to meet Bruno, who had been hiding all this time literally within the walls of the casita. Mirabel, like everyone else, was sure that Bruno was gone a long time ago, and she couldn't even suspect that he was so close to the family all these years. My gift isn't helping the family, but I love my family, he shares, clearly defeated. Bruno decided to leave the family and live alone, because he thought he was doing harm to his family. However, he was waiting for the day he would finally be welcomed back with open arms. He is completely cut from the life he once lived, and the only way for him to find a human connection is to peep through a peephole, perfectly placed near the kitchen dining room area. During his dialogue with Mirabel, Bruno reveals the revelation he had so many years ago during her gifting ceremony. Mirabel wants to uncover the truth and she manages to convince Bruno to conjure up the original vision. This scene reveals to everyone that Bruno may be a little bit weird but not a villain at all. Even though he was betrayed, we can see that his heart is still full of love and warmth. Despite being cut off from the world, he made his best to stay a human being with a warm big heart, even staying within the home's cozy inner walls. Hey, I'm still a part of the family, Madrigal, and I'm fine, I am totally fine. Our next scene is also a musical number, and it's also quite sad. It's safe to say that the scene of Antonio's ceremony makes us experience different feelings, but Mirabel's mournful ballad Waiting on a Miracle is also very touching. Don't be upset or mad at all, don't feel regret or sad at all. She sings in a vain attempt to convince herself that she's okay. No matter how hard she was trying to convince others and herself that she's fine, her facade quickly crumbles, and she admits a few lines later, I'm not fine. A pitter-patter of hand claps and percussion 
nestle in their arrangement give us a little hope and we can see the dark recesses of her heart right up into the sky. I've been patient and steadfast and steady. Bless me now as you blessed us all those years ago, she pleads. When you give us a miracle, am I too late for a miracle? It's never too late for a miracle. She learns that lesson soon enough. And what do you think? Is it true that it's never too late for a miracle? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. I can't. This moment is kind of fun, and it was mostly noticed by Redditors. After watching the movie, one Redditor commented that he liked the way Abuela was implying that Mirabel must be drunk. Did you notice that too? Let's explain. Right after Antonio receives his gift, he is introduced to a new room inside the casita. Needless to say that the room is awesome. It's expanded into a magical jungle that would now be where he slept and relaxed. The room also has really bright colors and animals inside, and this is exactly what the Encanto fans liked the most about his room. The funny moment we're talking about was noticed by a Redditor when the family and town celebrated Antonio in his new room. When Mirabel saw cracks within Casita and alerted Alma, she startled the party. But Alma decided to joke around and literally assumed that there is nothing to worry about and there are no cracks and Mirabel just must be a little drunk because the drinks are strong. The magic is strong and so are the drinks, said Alma and only very attentive fans figured out this funny way of assuming that Mirabel must be a little out of her mind because of the strong drinks. You suffered so much all alone, so it would never happen again. The last scene we're going to be talking about is one of the most powerful moments in the entire movie. In this scene, we can see the message of accountability, community, love, forgiveness, and the willingness to live on after tragedy. Have you already guessed which moment we're talking about? If yes, comment real quick in the comment section before we reveal it. So this is the moment when the plot reveals the origins of the miracle and the Madrigal family's many gifts. When the casita collapses, Mirabel dashes away into the surrounding wilderness and hides from the family. Abuela, being concerned for her granddaughter instinctively finds her on the edge of a vast and this was the place of the miracle's birth years and years ago. It turns out that Abuela, her late husband Pedro, and her three little kids had to flee from the village they lived in and were attacked on the road. They had to pay a heavy price but at that moment a miracle was bestowed upon the family. However, Abuela remained stuck in the past and thought strengthening the candle's magic could be achieved by ignoring the pressures on her family. I got it! What was your favorite moment from Encanto? Let us know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. That your life is so great. Ow. Wait. Fine. I apologize. Ugh. I wasn't